Hi everyone, Dean here with Seria Software. Does this board look familiar? Or maybe you don't have one. Generally, manual systems don't work anyway. I've seen many different types of size operations struggle with tracking jobs using something similar to this. Sirius offers a simple solution called dashboards. It's easy to set up, easy to maintain, and everyone knows what's going on in the operation. Let's go take a look and I'll show you how it's easily done. Okay, now that we're in control, you'll notice a, a sample dashboard here on the screen. Uh, you'll notice a couple others here at the top that we'll take a look at here in a few moments. These are user generated. Uh, the nice part about the dashboards inside of Sirius is these are based on the functionality that you need. Um, in this example we're looking at now, uh, you'll notice a couple departments. Uh, you'll see the design department. These are you know, the jobs that the uh, design department is working on. Over to the right are the files associated with this you know, specific uh, work order in the system. Uh, and then you'll see these are ready for approval. And if we were to select, you know, any of these, you would then see the files associated, you know, with that transaction and so forth. And then, of course, these are the ones that are being printed. And again, you can select it and uh, get the files there. Uh, some others uh, is this is more kind of a management style dashboard. Uh, it would actually show you the jobs in design, you know, waiting on approval, what's on the printer, you know, the flatbed, the lamination, and finishing. And of course, this example here is one uh, where the you know the entire job or even pieces of the job may be outsourced, and we can see which companies it's being outsourced to. Now, I want to be clear, uh, and my point here is these are user definable, meaning you can call these whatever you like. You can have four panels, you can have six panels, you can have two columns, you can have three columns, you can have four columns. There's no limitation on those as well as the data that's being displayed. So as we set these up, either department specific or company wide specific, you know, you'll display these panels specific to the things that you're used to seeing and how your jobs flow through the facility. You know, be it a printing department, be in a fabrication department, be a service and install department. You can set these up. You can specify the dates that you would like to see in the columns. You know, who's working on it, uh, things of that nature. So these dashboards are really nice. They're really, you know, user friendly, easy to see. You know, everyone knows what's going on. And depending on the functionality that a company is looking for, uh, you can even take it to a next level. Um, you know, directly from these panels, you know, we can drag and drop images per the previous screen. Uh, you could have employees clock in and out. Uh, we could update material usage. So the job was going to take you know, three sheets of aluminum and it only took two and a half. We can notate that uh, for uh, various other reasons. Um, so these have a lot of flexibility and they're simple. And what I see a lot of companies do with these particular type of dashboards is, you know, they go out and invest in a 50, 60 inch TV and these replace the old outdated whiteboard or pegboard or whatever is being used or maybe nothing and they display real time. So they're, they're up on the wall, they're displayed, people can walk up to them, they can use them, they can move jobs from department to department, you can have your production meetings around it and such. So dashboards, they're very simple to implement, they're very easy to use, and the results are great, and you and even your employees will really like this sort of structure and guidance to help them you know, work the project from beginning to end. Thanks for watching.